Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Bosses. I am Alton, AKA The Dog Father. We are gonna be making a fantastic recipe. We are talking about a double cut cream cheese and spinach stuffed pork chop. And we're gonna do it on our Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. You with it? Let's get it. All right, gang, for this recipe, these are our ingredients here. We've got two double cut pork chops, a uh, nice fat cap on these guys. I love my pork chops this way. It's excellent for this type of recipe. We've got some cream cheese here. This is just a brick of cream cheese that I've kind of warmed up that we can uh, mix up with our spinach, which we've got here. Uh, this is just a good uh, eight ounces or so. The frozen spinach just got it thawed out so we can mix it in with our cream cheese. And we've got our Pit Boss Maple Chipotle Rub. Uh, this rub is a great color. It's a perfect uh, uh, spiciness to it. It's got a great um, savory to sweetness in there. So this is gonna be an excellent rub for these pork chops. Next up, we've got some uh, 16 mesh uh, coarse ground black pepper here in Texas. We love this pepper, so I gotta have it on there. And then I've got some duck fat spray just for binding purposes. But these are all the ingredients that we're gonna need for this recipe, so let's put it together. All right, so to get this going here, we're gonna take our cream cheese first, guys. Now, uh, this is completely optional, um, but if you wanna add a little bit more flavor into this, we're gonna take some of this uh, chipotle uh this maple chipotle rub and we're going to add some into our cream cheese here and we're going to get that mixed through the cream cheese uh at the same time we're going to get some spinach put in there so we're going to grab some of this spinach we're going to kind of get some put into this cream cheese here and we're just going to mix this up all right so now we've got that cream cheese and spinach all mixed up now again you can feel free to put whatever you want in there but again we just went with cream cheese and spinach and our uh, maple chipotle rub and so now we've got this mixture ready to go now this is going to be fairly simple all we're doing is we're going to put an incision into the uh, pork chop so that we can stuff our mixture into it and i like to come back here uh, kind of in between the uh, where you feel the bones here and we're just going to cut a slit right into our pork chop guys just like this fairly simple we're making sure we're not going all the way through. We don't want to cut outside of this uh, exterior part of the pork chop. We want to keep all of this incision in the inside. And so we're just basically going to cut a little incision in there. And now we've got room for our, uh, our cream cheese mixture to go in there. So we're going to take some of this mixture, just like so. And we're going to stuff it right inside there, guys. Very simple, very messy, but hey, it's worth it when you get onto the back end of this. So we're gonna get this all stuffed in here. Okay, so now we've got these pork chops stuffed with our uh, spinach and cream cheese mixture, and now it's gonna be time to get them seasoned up. And I'm gonna start with my black pepper here, just because they're bigger granules and uh, they'll stick to the meat uh, better than if they have to go over top of a rub. So we're gonna put the pepper on first, get it nicely coated. You can put as little or as much pepper on as you want. Uh, it's all up to your taste buds and what you prefer. So we're gonna get this put on. Okay, and now that we've got our pepper on, we're gonna come back with our, again, our Pit Boss Maple and Chipotle rub. So we're gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up pretty liberally with this rub, I might add. So we're gonna get it all over this pork chop. Okay, now we've got these pork chops all seasoned up and we can kind of move this pork chop around and pick up some of this excess rub that we have on the board. So we're not wasting any of it, of course. All right. Okay, now that we got these pork chops all stuffed and uh, seasoned up, we're gonna let them sweat a little bit. Perfect time for us to fire up our Pro Series 1600. So let's get the grill lit up here and let's get this cook going. Okay, so we're gonna get our grill lit up here and we're gonna get this thing turned on. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna set our grill temperature here for uh, 275. 
and we're going to let it come up to temperature there. Just like so. All right, guys, we have now hit our 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's time to get our pork chops on. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a catch pan in here just because I like to try and keep the grill as clean as I possibly can. So we're going to put this catch pan in here, completely optional. You don't have to do that. And next up, we're going to get these pork chops on. You can see they've kind of developed a good sweat to them here. You can see some of the liquid coming out from that salt pool and some of that moisture out, and that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and get these uh, pork chops put on right over our catch pan. There's one and there's two double cut cream cheese and spinach stuffed pork chops put on our Pit Boss 1600. We're going to close it up and we're going to let it come up to temperature. Okay, now we've got the pork chops on and we're speaking of coming up the temperature. Now with pork, uh, 145 is what I'm looking for, 145 degrees Fahrenheit. I sometimes kind of cook it a little under because of the carryover temperature. So we might get to 140, 141, 142, somewhere around there and get the pork chops off. But right now it's that famous waiting game. Whenever we got barbecue on, you do all of the prep work, you got everything on. And now it's just time to let this uh, Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 do what it do. See you in a bit. So we've been cranking along here for about 30 minutes and we're gonna take a look at these chops. Uh, they're coming along nicely. And uh, all we're really gonna do is just give them a flip. So we're gonna pull our rack out here and just give them a little flip like so. Just like that. And we're gonna use that duck fat. We're gonna just give it a good little sp spray of duck fat there and slide this back in here, and we're gonna keep it going. All right, so we uh, just hit about an hour and 20 minutes here, and we've just hit our finishing temperatures. So it's gonna be time to go ahead and get these uh, pork chops off. They're looking really good. So uh, yeah, let's get them off. Okay, so here we have our uh, pork chops. They've had time to rest. Uh, we smoked them up to 142 degrees and then got them off. And so let's go ahead and cut into it. And you can see it's really juicy, just like we want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and cut into this pork chop. And let's see what we've got going here. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get this cut right here. And look at there, guys. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a sucker for a good pork chop. So we're gonna have to go in for a bite of this. Alright, there we go, guys. Let's go in. Mmm. Man. Well, I gotta get another bite. Mmm. -mm. Man, all I can tell you is this rub right here, <laughs> this stuff is really good. I mean, you got a great, smoky, sweet, savory, spicy flavor out of this rub on these pork chops, and man, it was phenomenal. The uh, Pit Boss uh, Pro Series 1600 did his job, did what he was supposed to do. We had a great cook here today. So guys, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this Pit Boss channel uh, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. So every time a Backyard Boss video gets uploaded, you get notified. I am the dog father and I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.